hello guys welcome to my channel my name is alakoto johnson Daniel on limited jb in this video i'll be showing you guys how to transfer your easy worship song database to free show so without further ado let's get started now the first thing you need to do is to head over to your easy worship now when you open your easy worship you want to go over to profile select profile and click on profiles manager now when you click on profiles manager you are welcome with this window now you have the list of profiles to the side and on the right hand side you have these locations where the file is saved now because i don't have Prof any profile the profile i have is just a default profile so i'm just going to click on this default the same thing applies to if you have a profile already so i'm going to click on this profile right here and then it's going to take me to this storage location now i have default resources and v6.1 now i'm going to click on the v6.1 to access the folder i will click on the databases then i will select data and locate songwords.db i think that's the extension so songwords yeah database file so songwords so i'm going to copy that we copy that and then i will just save it somewhere on my desktop so i can just save it in my downloads folder or in my document so i'm just going to paste it here so i had to do this because um i use a macbook but i have to install a uh, windows on my mac so that i'm able to make this tutorial now i'm going to switch over to my macbook to open up free show to import this file right there now after copying out the songword.db now let's go ahead to import it into free show remember you can copy the song word which is the easy worship song database you can copy it from any pc and transfer it to your own pc irrespective of whether it's mac or windows or linux it doesn't matter what you just need is just the song words.db now just the same way i have it here i have to install windows on my macbook so that i'm able to get this file right here and now i'm back on my mac interface now let's go to free show now we click on file here click on import and I'm, i will click on easy worship now we go to download and locate the song words db i will click on it and click on open watch what happens when i do that now we start loading in all of the songs so i've got 224 songs that's in the default easy worship database those are the default songs that came with easy worship now if you have a lot of songs in your database you probably have more than i have right here so let's go over each of them so if i click on this i have the songs here you can go to the template to just modify any of them let's say you can just click on the template here to apply to each of them and here you have it you have your songs right here and if you go again to the show if you look at this left hand side you will see the easy worship it, it creates a separate category for it to show you that these are your songs from easy worship so if i click on this yeah this is a good one now if you look at closely at this one you see that the, the slide is overcrowded so what you can do here is firstly let's go to our template and apply a template to it which is this small board remember you can adjust any of this template by right clicking and go to edit and just adjust the parameters to suit what you want now for this one now it's still kind of overcrowded if we don't want it this long what you can do is to right click on it go to format and do split into two the same thing you can do for this format split in two now the next thing you want to do is another thing you can do rather is if you have let's say let me try and split this into two split in two let me split this in two let's say i want to combine these two slides together i will just hold on my command key 
select this and select the second one right click go to format and select merge so i've merged the two slides together so guys that is how to transfer your easy worship database into free show if you find this video helpful give me a like subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you for watching this far see you in my next video bye